1996, the Hispanic demographics were growing. The Hispanic marketing industry was growing. The Hispanic media landscape was growing. More and more advertisers were coming into the market every year. But there was still untapped potential. In 1996, Eduardo Caballero sent an invitation to all of the agency principals who were running Latino agencies to attend a meeting in Dallas to have a serious discussion about starting an agency association. Intuitively, I think all of us knew that that meeting would be historical, that that meeting would define the course of an entire industry. All the principals were there, from small agencies, large agencies, regional agencies, local agencies, national agencies. We were all there, and we were there for a common goal to try and grow this pie. And by doing so, by creating this idea of an association for the Hispanic advertising agencies, we were going to explore the growth potential, not just of our businesses, but also for corporate America. AHA has contributed many things into the, to the industry, but first and foremost, it defined us. It was a milestone in our history that defined the Hispanic advertising agency business is an industry. From the very beginning, AHA was about business. It was about the business of advertising, it was about the business of reaching consumers, and it was about the business of our clients. It was a very important objective for us to convince clients that the reason to do Hispanic advertising from the very beginning was because it would be good for their bottom line. This was not about politics, this was not about uh, about entitlement, it was about Hispanics had the population and had the income to be able to respond to well-crafted messages from professional and talented advertising agencies. There was a lot of optimism. The economy was growing. The unemployment rate was the lowest it had been in 30 years. Latinos were growing. We believed we could elect a president and put him in the White House. It was also the time of Census 2000. We were asking Latinos to fill out the form and make themselves count. I am most proud of the Voto campaign that was created in a collaborative fashion. And everyone brought forward their creative ideas on developing a multimedia voter registration campaign. Voto is what it, it was called. We decided to undertake a public service campaign, which we called Futuramente, Future Minds. And uh, we launched the campaign in the White House. And by doing so, we were also bringing Hispanic marketing and Hispanic issues to government. I attribute the changes in Hispanic marketing to the consistency with which Hispanic agencies have held to their values, have held to our values of focusing on the consumer primarily. Our job has been to connect with the consumer and to make sure that they are the star of the show. This, to me, has meant that we have been able to contribute uh, millions of dollars of incremental profit to our clients. We feel strongly that in order for Hispanic marketing to succeed, it has to be understood and clear how it is that we reach this very important segment, whether it's in Spanish or in English, as well as how this segment affects the rest of the market and the rest of the mainstream. We came out with a very interesting and substantial study that helped define what it means to be Latino, what makes Latinos Latino. I, we're, I'll always be very proud of that work. I'll always be very proud of the courage that we exhibited over those three to five years of tackling the, the threats that our industry was facing, that we still face, but to make sure that people and that industry and that, um, that American marketers understand that Hispanic agencies do something special. We don't just translate, we don't just adapt. We bring key consumer insights, a deep understanding, a sense of history and a sense of culture to the work that makes the work work. It was a very important time 
as AHA was redefining itself. We were trying to create value for our member agencies, and during that time we tackled a plan, a strategic plan for AHA. We also tackled some very important issues. If you remember the Arbitron methodology issue, the people meter issue, we were on Capitol Hill advocating for our segment of the population, meeting with the FCC commissioner and meeting with political leaders so that they would understand what we were doing as an industry. And that was something that hadn't been done previously that I'm very proud of. I think the last 20 years have, uh, AHA has helped grow our industry tremendously. It has given all of us tools. Uh, has standardized some of our learning opportunities and it has also made sure that the information out there was credible and consistent, which is something that we desperately needed before AHA. The world has changed in the last 20 years and Hispanic marketing has changed right along with it. Hispanic marketing is now not a niche market only, it is a leading market. What has the major change that I feel is that now, rather than follow general market in terms of how they do creative and media, is we are leading general market. We are showing them how it's done. I feel that the creative uh, approaches that agencies are taking uh, are more sophisticated in the sense of being very simple, if that makes sense. You know, I think we're, le we're learning from you know, what connects to, with people to really go in deep into the connection of, 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 of that insight. Uh, we're going from Hispanic stereotypes to Hispanic insights to, Hispanic, to human truths. And uh, I think the market is really, you know, evolving in that sense. What I'm expecting from creative in the next uh, 10 years, I don't know. I mean, it's just exciting to know that we are in uh, uncharted territories. I see Hispanic agencies faring very well in today's market. They do two things really well. First, because they understand the new, more diverse mainstream market or total market, Hispanic agencies are very well equipped to talk to the market in Spanish or in English, to take a total market approach. And because Hispanic agencies have a history of collaborating with agencies and other clients, we can help working with African American agencies, general market agencies, Asian agencies, in finding a solution for our clients that takes into account all of the different segments, if that's how clients choose to staff their marketing functions. Understand that Hispanic marketing today, just like it was 20 years ago, continues to be not a translation, but a, a very defined, very refined piece of creative and outreach for the changing marketplace. I think Hispanic marketing has changed tremendously in the last 20 years. We've grown up basically. Uh, our plans look nothing like the plans when I started in this in this uh, industry. Uh, but more importantly, we sit at the table with the general market agencies. Now, in the past 20 years, we were always uh, lagging behind, and now we are sitting at the table, and in many cases, we're actually leading. And am I surprised about the changes? No, I actually feel vindicated. Well, the changes I've seen in creative are, you know, huge. From 20 years ago to today, I think we're moving away from the stereotypes. You can, you know, see a lot of intelligent ideas, uh, not only winning awards, but also connecting with consumers, which is more important. While we're all competitors, AHA has brought us together to talk about the challenges of the industry, to talk about um, best practices to talk about things that we face every single day as we run our companies. You know, after 20 years, we're not done yet. We still have quite a ways to go to make our industry viable and required. Hispanic agencies will be playing an even stronger role. They will be, they already are, the main and the lead agencies for many products and services. So I, I see it being even bigger and playing a bigger role in 10 years. We're a very big community and it's not just agencies and we've built this industry together. I hope that AHA in the next 20 years continues to fight for making sure that clients understand and the industry as a whole understands that Hispanic agencies and Hispanic marketers and Hispanic researchers and Hispanic digital agencies, that we're specialists. And nos tenemos que dar permiso 
de ser complejos, porque nuestro mercado es complejo. Un abrazo a todos y felicidades por esos primeros 20 años.